How do you open this thing? You got a switchblade? Use my knife. I mean my fingers. There we go. There we go, fellas. So here we are, Chromecast 3. This thing hasn't been updated in like three years. The last one that came out was in 2015. That's the new one. It's pretty much the same price, $35, but it's 1080p at 60 frames per second, so much better frame rate. Anywho, setting up the new Chromecast can be rather cumbersome because it's device dependent and there's no remote. First, you need to download the Google Home app and then connect your Chromecast to your Wi-Fi. Here we go. Open up the box, and if you haven't already, plug in your Chromecast into your TV. You also need to power your Chromecast with a micro USB cable that comes with it. If your TV has a USB port, plug in the USB end of the cable to the TV's USB port. As long as it provides enough power, it should work, but some older TVs may not. Once done, power on your TV, you should see a Chromecast welcome screen. Okay, so moving on, since there's no remote for Chromecast, to set up and control your Chromecast, you'll need Google Home app. It's available both on Android and iOS. The app has the same interface on both Android and iOS. However, for this video, I'll show you the steps on Android. The second and third generation Chromecast both support Bluetooth. When you plug in a new Chromecast and start the setup process with Google Home app, you'll be connected over Bluetooth immediately. If it doesn't, make sure your phone's Bluetooth is turned on. If you have the first generation Chromecast, you'll need to connect to a temporary ad hoc Wi-Fi network it creates, which is also the fallback method for the newer generations too. Now that Chromecast is connected to your phone, it's time to configure it. To do so, open up the Google Home app and finish the configuration process. Usually the app automatically guides you to the setup process, but if that doesn't work, don't panic. Simply tap the device icon and tap setup. In the first step of the setup process, the app will confirm the temporary identifier assigned to the Chromecast, and then click continue. Next, the setup app will beam a confirmation code to your TV. Confirm that you see the code by tapping I see it. Click continue, you'll be prompted to name your Chromecast. Name it something more memorable like bedroom TV or living room, etc. I usually uncheck crash reporting to Google. Once you've made your selection, click continue and then plug in the credentials for the Wi Fi network you wish to connect to your Chromecast to. Finally, it's optional to link your Google account to your Chromecast. If in the future you wish to customize the Chromecast backdrop with your own photos, you need to link the Chromecast to your Google account. And that's pretty much it. Now let's see how you use it. You can cast from a mobile device. To do so, you just need an app that has a casting built in, such as YouTube, Netflix, or Hulu, etc. Let's take Netflix. Just open any video and click on the Chromecast icon. That will automatically appear whenever you're near your Chromecast. And that's it. It'll automatically cast your video onto your TV. You can unlock or switch off your phone and the streaming will continue on your TV. Similarly, if you want to cast your screen, just go to settings and look for cast option and start casting your phone to your TV with Chromecast. Pretty cool, eh? Now that you've set up your Chromecast, you can do a lot more than just watch Netflix or YouTube. I like to pretend it's an eye patch. But stay tuned for the cool things that you can do with your new Chromecast 3. And as always, I'm Vamsi. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.